Welcome to this platform and thank you for being part of uh, this great platform. So in this video, let us go through one of the questions that is from vectors. So generally, we are going to um, revise the topic vectors. And of course, this is one of the topic that as you prepare for paper two, this is one of the topic that you wouldn't want to uh, miss. So as we go on, I'll get also to suggest some of the topics that you should study as you prepare for um, mathematics paper two. So let us answer the question. Now, as we answer the question, uh, my main interest is to look at question B or question B, explaining question B, which is showing that points are collinear. So that is my main interest. But we are going to answer the question from the uh, start. And of course, I'll get to um, explain where a majority miss it. So if you are going to answer a question on a vector, the first thing uh, to know is that you need to pay attention to the first part of the information that you are given. Let us have a look at the information. So in the quadrilateral A, B, C, D, as you can see, the whole of this one, A is equals to, I mean A, B is equals to A, as you know, a vector can be represented with a bar on top or a small letter with a dash down. And that is something that uh, you should understand or should know. That if you write just A without this dash at the bottom here, that is not a vector. So take note of that. Don't just uh, write uh, letters. Okay, so AB is equals to A. Then vector AD is equals to B. A vector BC, uh, BC is equals to 2. Then AC, I mean AE, which is this one. This one in terms of ratios to that of AC, which is this one. It is 1, 2, 3. Now, here you need to understand the thing. This ratio, it is the whole of the uh, part that is AC and part of it. So this 3 is the total ratio. In some cases, we find that maybe you are given, let's say it was a ratio of A, um, AE to EC. Then you are given uh, one, two, three. This is a different scenario from A, E to A, C. I guess you understand that. For this one, to find this vector, if you are given that the whole of it, you add to find the total ratio, of which is going to be one over, total is four. But for this one that we have, we do not need to add because this is already the total. So in other words, A, E, is equals to a e uh, is equals to one over three a c that is what it means so i thought of explaining this so that you understand you pay attention are you given the total ratios or are you given a uh, part in parts so that's very important to uh, to know now let us start answering the question so the first one is find uh in terms of a and or b a e so the first question, let us answer AE, vector AE. What is vector AE in this case? So how are you going to move? So in AE, or in order for us to find AE, which is just this one, we are going to find 1 over 3, then AC, the whole of it. Now, we do we have AC? We do not have AC. Perhaps we can find it. So AC is equals to... So this AC, we are going to move AB and BC. So A, B, then B, C. For those that do not understand how you move, you just look at the first part. It's more like just expand the first part that you're given. So like you've seen, A is starting here. Then of course, C is ending there. But in between, there should be a common, uh, a common uh, route that you are taking. Okay, so that is AC. Then what is AB? So AB, we are going in this direction and it's showing that the direction, we are going in the same direction. So it becomes positive. And also direction is something that you need to take note of. So AC is going to be A, then plus BC, we are going also in the same direction. It's going to be 2B. So this is the vector AC. Okay. So now, since we have AC, we can find AE. So AE, meaning it is going to be um, 
1 over 3 multiply by a then plus 2 uh, b it is very important that you open the brackets because you need this one at some point so this one's just the same as the a over 3 plus 2 over 3 then b this is just the same as the, this if we were to expand it or to open the uh, brackets there so that is our ae let us reserve it so our ae we can write it here as um, a over 3 plus 2 b over 3 okay all right then let us let us find the second one for the second one is be so be vector be now where is be be is right here so for be we can use um b c then c e but we do not have c e so we are going to use instead uh b e we are going to say b a then a e so it's going to be uh b a then plus um that is a e that is the route that we are going to take now b a this is a b b a which means negative of this we are going in the opposite direction we are going in this direction so it will be negative a then plus a e we already have it which is the, this one so it is the, a that is um, over 3 plus 2 b over 3 now we can bring the like terms together and when we bring the like terms together a and a uh, can add so which means this we are going to work it out and the common denominator here it is um, uh, 3 so we're going to have 3 then on top which means this one will be negative 3 a plus a then plus 2 b then over 3 so the whole of this is going to be negative this is not going to be negative 2 uh, a over 3 remember it's a vector plus uh, 2 over that is 2 b over what over 3 i guess you haven't made a mistake at uh, any point okay so which means this one we can rearrange it and have 2 b over 3 minus 2 a over 3 i've just started with a negative so that is our b e so take note that is our b e then now we come to the last question which is d e i mean which is b d so i'm going to answer it here b d b d which is uh right here you see bd bd is the whole of this one up to there now for us to find bd we can find ba or we can add ba and ad so ba then plus ad now ba it is negative a because we are going in the opposite direction then plus a D, we are going in this direction, which is a B. Okay, so that is our, our B D. So our B D is simply negative A, then plus uh, that is negative vector A plus that B. So we can rearrange this one and have B minus A. So that is our B D. Okay, then now question B that is where now I want you to pay particular attention. Question um, question B, hence or otherwise, show that point B, D, E. So these points, these points, B, these points B, D, E, show that they are corinia. Now, corinia points lie on the same line. So they are found on the same line, as you can see, B, E, D. Now, what are the conditions for coriniality? So if there are coordinates here, the coordinates for this one, coordinates for that one, coordinates for that one, finding their gradient or collinear points have same gradient. Maybe in this time around you find you ha they have coordinates. So if you find the gradient, let's say of B, E, the gradient of E, D, the gradient of B, D, they should be the same. That is the 
collinear point. So now, if you, you are not given coordinates, how do you then show that they are collinear? So what we have here, you have BD, the whole of it. Then you have BE. Then you have ED. Okay? So you can split it in, uh, in those parts. So to show that they are collinear, you need to make uh, the... Uh, for, for them to be, or to show that they are collinear, BE is equals to K BD. Okay? So for collinear points, uh, for collinear vectors, if vectors are collinear, then they need to be a uh, scalar multiple of each other. Okay? So they need to be scalar multiple of each other. It is very simple to show them, so which means we are just going to find, do we have BE? Yes, we have it. Do you have BD? Yes, to have we have it. Let us see. So what we have as BE, if we are to check, it is uh, this one. Okay? That is our BE. The final one is here. Now, our BE, let me just bring it here. Our BE or vector BE, if we are to look at it, we can write it as uh, 2 over 3. Then what remains, I've just factorized, please. What remains here is a B, then minus, what remains here is just A. You've seen the way they are? So, BE is a scalar multiple of, uh, that is B, um, BD. So, this inside part here is just BD. You've seen it. The inside part is BD. That is how BD is. Where is BD? BD is right here. Okay, so um, since, so I can write, since um, BE is equals to 2 over 3B minus A, okay, then BD is equals to B minus A, we can say therefore, uh, therefore, I should have indicated here that multiple of uh, B, D. Okay? We can say, therefore, the points B, E, and D are Corinna. Have you seen that? So there's B, there's D, there's B, there's E. So just by finding this, okay, so the way, the strategy that you can make is that the longest one is the one that should be here, okay? As you can see, B, D up to there, then each of these points, any of these, it can be, uh, you can use any of these. You can use B, E, or you can use E, D. You still prove that they are what? They are Corinna. So here we've just used BE. But what of if we used ED? If we were to find the vector ED here, how is it going to be? Can we try out that one? So if we were to find, I don't want to remove this one, BD um, equal to B minus A. Okay. If we were to find ED, so ED, it is going to be, we can take this root E, A, then plus AD. EA, we found it to be what? EA, we found it to be this one. But this one is AE e is this one. But this one is EA. So it means negative. We just multiply this negative. So it's going to be negative A over 3. Then plus 2B. That is negative also. 3. Then uh, plus a B. We collect the like terms in this one, B and B. So you are going to have 3, that is for this part. We are going to have 3, which is for this part. So we are going to have negative 2B plus 3B. Okay, I, I hope you know where 3B is coming from. I'm just dealing with this part. So this part is going to be B over 3. Okay, then minus A over 3. Okay? So, I've just uh, put this one, or included the other one. So, which means AE 
it is going to be for if we factorize this one is just going to be 1 over 3 then inside to be b minus a you've seen the way it is there's this scalar multiple i mean this scalar number in front then the whole of this one is just the same as bd so even uh, the other point if we were to use the other one we're going to find that e uh, that is ea ed i mean vector ed is equals to 1 over that is um, 1 over 3 then b d okay since b d is um, e d is equals to 1 over 3 b minus a since b d is uh, b minus a the three points are what are corinia I guess you've gotten something here. So that is how you simply uh, show that the points are what? Are corinia. Okay?